Hey guys, Garney here. I'm gonna be talking about metadata. So why is it important? So stick around. Hey guys, Garney here. Thanks for joining me. I really do appreciate it. You know, I'm gonna be talking about metadata. What is metadata? Well, you know what? Here's something. You know, I do a lot of research on my end for my personal edification, and for those of you guys who are in technology, IT, development, and things like that, this is not for you. Again, I qualify that. I actually work for a company called Informatica, and they're a data management company that provides solutions to enterprise companies, but I really focus on trying to have these discussions folk on no, well, really for the business. And, and again, I just qualify that these are my own opinions, my own words. This is not a script that Informatica has asked me to write or anything else like that. So let me just get that out of the way first. But you know what? I was actually doing some research and looking around with some things and I actually went on YouTube and I found this YouTube by a couple of guys who did a TED Talk uh, out of Cambridge back in 2013. Uh, it's called The Power of Metadata. Uh, metadata is one word. Uh, by Deepak Jadish and Daniel Smilkov. I'll put the link in the description. But what was really interesting about what these guys did, these guys are uh, MIT uh, graduates now, obviously, but they, they were getting their masters at MIT around uh, data. And it was interesting to hear their definition of what they talked about. So let me let me share with you what they said. Metadata is the context of the data itself, the activity of the data, and the interaction of the data. Let me explain that again. Metadata is the context of the data, to include the activity of the data, and the interaction of the data. There are usually two schools of thoughts around a metadata. One is more of a technical term. You know, sometimes we walk into meetings and when somebody says metadata, they immediately go, oh, it's a technical thing. But that's not really true because there's an other half of metadata and metadata is more of the business context. And that's what these guys from the TED talk were talking about is the activity and the interaction around that. So an example of a technical metadata component is uh, this data came from this application from this specific table and it looks like this in the application. That's a technical way of looking at it. But business context is, let's take a customer. A customer would have a first and last name, it would have an address, and it would actually have maybe some spend analysis that go along with it. Those are all metadata. You, you know, think about, think about this. Have you ever received a piece of information that you trusted, that you liked, that you understood? Why did you trust it? Think about that. Why did you like the piece of data that you had, or the spreadsheet that you got, or the piece of knowledge that you were given? Why did you value that? Because you had context around that. You trusted where it came from, who gave it to you, where it came from, or what source, or whatever. There was context around the data set itself. It wasn't just because empirically you trusted the data in this raw format. There was context around that. So that's what metadata is all about. It is the context of the data. Here's Here's something that really, really got me going and thinking about. Metadata is hard to understand. It's because we, and, and it's funny because guys on TED Talk really brought this up. They said it's because of all the stuff that we work with, and they were focusing on email. It, they're all very shallow applications, you know, time series based of emails. Well, okay, I get that. It, you know, we always look at the email and we always look at the, the, you know, based on time ranking of our emails. But it, that's, that's only just one dimension of it. Time is only one dimension of data or emails. We focus on the data and not the context because we usually take the context for granted. See, so it's either con what we call carnal knowledge that I have up here that it's just inherent to me or, we, it, or it's just raw data. So that's why it's hard to understand metadata. But it's so important because think of it this way. When you start thinking of the context of the data, I like to talk about it in, and let me, I, I want to read this off and get this right for you, is the context is very powerful because it tells you where, the who, the what, the why, and the how of data. I mean, it's the where, who, why, what, and how data. That's what metadata is all about. And the reason why 
I bring this up is because metadata, unless you, to trust it, you have to have context. To understand it, you gotta have context. To secure it, you gotta have context. To, to discover it, you gotta have context. So let me break these things down and try to keep it short here for you. And again, these are a few notes I took here on the, you know, the hotel pad. Oh, by the way, I'm staying here at the Sheridan in, in uh, downtown Oklahoma City. So, using the old Sheridan pad. <laughs> <laughs> so but let's talk about the benefits of understanding the context of your data or metadata. Let's talk about where. Where did the data come from? Where, did, where is it going? You know, those are, so we call that the discovery aspects of it. If you understand and gain insight of the data based upon its context of where it came from or where it's going, that gives you a little bit more insight, understanding, or what we call the discovery aspects of data itself. Now, why is that important? Well, if you know where, it's, where it is and where it's going, isn't it easier to locate the data? I mean, think, think of it this way. Why do you use search engines? You don't know where the data, where that data has always been. The search engine provides you that information. But the search engine, you know, has a lot of context behind it because it's always asking you, you know, if you just type in sun, it's gonna make some generalizations for you. But if you say solar system, sun, or star, there's more context, to it. there's more data points to it. So it can actually gain more context to the search that you're looking for. Yeah, so if you understand where and where, where it is and where it's going, you got a better understanding of mapping where that data is, all right? That's important, right? Don't you wanna know where your data is? <laughs> Let's talk about who. When you think about who, I think of who has who has access to it, who created, and better yet, who's going to consume it. That, you know, wouldn't you like to know that? Who's going to consume that data? If you're the consumer of that information, why? Do you trust it? Do you have to use it? Is it just something to add more enrichment to the information that you're trying to build or gain or garner? Yeah, who is pretty important when it comes to data? And if you don't know the who of data, again, you, you're losing a lot of the context of it, right? Let's talk about why. Why, did the, why does the data exist? Why was it created? Why is it placed where it is? Why do people have access to it? What's the reason behind, what's the goal of the data? Why does it, you know, again, why does it exist? Why does it need to go where it's going to go? Those are the questions that, that, again, another layer of understanding of data. If you know why the data exists, that gives you a better understanding, right? Or how, you know, again, that leads into the, to the next thing, you know, what the data is. You know, data comes in different formats, just like, you know, cups of coffee. There's small cups, big cups, large cups, huge mugs, right? Data comes in all shapes and sizes also. You know, you, you, here's the other part about it. And I wrote this down because I wanted to make sure I get this clear. What includes history? Where did it come from? How did it become what it is today? What about the impact? What will it impact? If I make changes to this data, what's it going to affect downstream? All right? And what about auditability? Yeah, with all these compliance issues, regulatory issues that we got to deal with, yeah, metadata is pretty important because that will help you understand the traceability of the data. Now let's talk about the how of data. How is it going to be used? <laughs> how did it get here? I mean, was it delivered? Was it in the spreadsheet? Was it done through an application? Did you get it from a web? Did you get it from somebody who's speaking to you? You know, how did it get to where it is today in its present state and how is it going to be delivered in the future? Yeah. How about where it is today based on security? So if you know the how of data and the where of data and the who of data, couldn't you paint a better secure measure around data? So let me, let me share with you why I've been researching and talking about metadata. Because a lot of people start talking about this thing called governance or stewardship. But see, if you don't have an understanding of your data of 
where it came from or who has access to it and why it exists and what it's con composed of and how it got to where it is today. How can you actually have a governance program around that? How do you actually build any type of context to it? I mean, for business to actually have a strong and, and functioning governance program, don't you need to have insight to your information? Don't you need to know where it came from? How do you define that it's a trusted source? How do you know that it can be audited? How do you know where it's going to, going to be delivered and who's going to consume that? Again, those are questions that governance organizations are have to ask itself. So that's why metadata is important. So next time you hear the term metadata, don't shut your mind off. Listen, because guess what? It's context. And this is your opportunity to provide context to the data or get involved with the context of the information. That's why metadata is so important, guys. I know this is a broad topic and it's pretty high level, but I just wanted to scratch the surface for you because metadata is more than just a definition of the data. It is the context behind the data. And once you understand that, the data becomes more powerful. And with powerful data, you have trusted, reliable information that you can make better decisions on. So guys, again, I really appreciate it. What do you think about metadata? Have you, have you been working on any projects like that? Have you, has metadata been an important factor in your life around stewardship or governance? I'd like to hear your thoughts about that. And I, and I might just run a program or do another tech talk around governance and things like that. I, I don't know, I'm just throwing those things around. But hey, what topics do you have around data that maybe I can help you out with? So again, guys, thanks again for joining. If you like what I'm doing, hit that like button. And most of all, I'm always looking for new friends to join me on this journey. So come on, hit that subscribe button. But until then, we'll talk to you tomorrow. Peace.